Welcome, dear viewers. In this video, we're going to take some time to introduce the latest must-have new mods released for Skyrim. We've carefully selected a range from dynamic animations to high-quality visual mods, so you can expect something special. So, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I'm excited to bring you some noteworthy animation mods. I'm particularly pleased to introduce the Riding Animation Overhaul. This mod provides a more realistic and visually appealing set of animations for both players and NPCs while riding horses. It dynamically alters the horse's movements, giving a more dynamic feel, and realistically depicts the swaying of the rider. You'll truly feel the rush of galloping on a horse. Moreover, it supports both DAR and OAR, allowing for a diverse range of functionality based on various condition values. Experience a more dynamic Skyrim with this excellent riding animation mod. Next is the Naraka Blade Point Dual Wield MCO ADXP moveset. It brings the dual wielding motions from the game Naraka into Skyrim. With a significantly fast and agile attack speed, the variety of slashing and thrusting motions with dual blades adds a dazzling touch. Additionally, when you press the power attack along with directional keys, it showcases unique attack motions. Especially, pressing the power attack button while moving backward will gather and hurl the dual blades. And pressing the power attack along with left and right movement, keys will result in continuous forward attacks. Through this moveset, I am confident that your combat will become even more spectacular and dynamic. Next is the Valhalla Dual Wield Greatswords MCO ADXP moveset. It involves wielding enormous greatswords in a dual wield style. To use this moveset, you'll need Dual Wield Revolution. After equipping the attachment provided with this mod and donning the greatsword like a dual wield weapon, you can use it as if it were a pair of swords. The moveset captures the distinct weighty feel of greatswords, providing a powerful and substantial sensation. Personally, I believe that while motions are important, the choice of weapon is even more crucial. I felt that overly small weapons might not suit this moveset. For capturing this moveset, I used the Elden Ring Greatsword mod. If you find it appealing, I recommend trying it out in conjunction with this moveset. Next up is the Holmgang, ADXP MCO moveset for NPCs. This mod transforms NPC attack motions to resemble those in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The attacks feel remarkably fluid and immersive. Built on the foundation of OAR, it's convenient to toggle each moveset on and off in real time. The motions strike a balance, appearing natural and suitable for NPCs without being overly exaggerated. The creator of this mod not only incorporated attack motions from AC Valhalla, but also included sprint attacks and movement, making the combination of these three motions even more seamless and realistic. Next, let me introduce you to Underdog Taunt Animations. This mod is created by Hero, the same creator who developed the groundbreaking animation mod, Underdog, in the past. After a long hiatus, Hero has released a new set of animations. Underdog Taunt Animations adds a variety of witty and entertaining animations to Skyrim for taunting enemies during combat. These include actions such as shaking one's rear, making derogatory gestures, or sneering. When installing through FOMOD, you can conveniently choose which motions to include or omit. If you're looking for diverse and amusing taunt animations, I highly recommend giving this mod a try. In this segment, I'll introduce several mods related to visuals. I've done my best to carefully select the mods that you shouldn't miss out on. First up is El Sopa, Training Dummies Redone. This creation by El Sopa completely upgrades the textures and models of training dummies. 
The mod provides a more realistic and detailed appearance for the training dummies, which are crafted from wood and intricately detailed with scratches and cracks. It's a fantastic enhancement for your training experience. Next, we have Kanj's Ogma Infinium Animated. This mod improves the appearance of the book Ogma Infinium in Skyrim and adds animation effects. It upgrades the texture of the book to a high resolution of up to 4K and includes glowing and particle effects to make it even more mystical and dazzling. Additionally, the animation now operates even without the book physically moving, creating a more mysterious atmosphere. Next is Embers XD, Fire Them Sparks. This mod is a mesh replacement for the Embers XD mod. Embers XD enhances campfires and other fire sources by making the fire effects and textures more realistic and beautiful. Embers XD, Fire Them Sparks, adds a spectacular fire sparking effect to all fire meshes in Embers XD. This mod makes the flames appear more lively and vibrant. It requires Embers XD and is even better when used alongside Foex, Sparks of Fire, Reacts to the Wind. Next up is Lenny's Nordic Chair Replacer. This mod replaces the standard chairs in Skyrim with high-resolution 2K, 8K versions. Since it replaces the mesh and texture of the chairs, it doesn't require an ESP file. You can choose between the default and desaturated colors for the chairs. Finally, I'd like to introduce Spy Rally's Beautiful Butterflies Enhanced to you. This mod replaces the vanilla butterflies and moths with new textures and improved meshes and adds 14 new butterfly species to the game. They are randomly generated throughout Skyrim and have hundreds of new spawn and landing points. With adjustments, including changes made by Butterflies Unchained, this mod upgrades various visual aspects related to butterflies. I highly recommend it to you. In this segment, I'll introduce several mods related to outfits. There are a few mods that you definitely shouldn't miss out on. First up is L Dark Rebel. This outfit is a lightweight armor that combines leather with futuristic elements in a highly diverse range of combinations. It consists of 10 different components, allowing you to optionally wear items such as belts, bodysuits, boots, dresses, gloves, jackets, knee pads, and panties. It offers textures with various materials, ranging from chainmail to fabric and leather. Customize and wear this outfit to suit your style. Next up is the Coco Twilight Sorceress outfit. This outfit provides a unique set of clothing in the style of a mage char sorceress. It features Coco's distinctive style, semi-transparent fabrics, and supports SMP physics for full partitioning. From the scarf around the neck to the fabric cascading down to the calves, it aims for high quality. It should complement female characters of classes like mages quite well. Feel free to give it a try. Lastly, we have the Ashtoreth Midnight Stealth. This outfit adds a black leather suit to Skyrim. While the suit overall accentuates the body, the center is made of mesh fabric. Additionally, a dagger accessory on the right thigh adds an extra flair to this outfit. The top with a floral pattern on the left side and a fabric-like texture adds a ninja-like appearance to it. Give it a try if it appeals to your taste. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining me on this journey through the latest and greatest Skyrim mods. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting content. And as always, feel free to leave your thoughts and mod suggestions in the comments below. Until next time, happy modding and happy adventuring in the world of Skyrim.